Hey, Ready Readers! So I'm so glad you're here today for reading class because actually we're going to talk about something not really new. We've talked about it briefly in class and we are going to actually review it today and we're going to actually practice a little bit, a little bit more. So today we're going to talk about syllables. So in our English language, we have many, many, many different words, right? And so with every word that we have in our dictionary, it can be, the words can be broken up into syllables. So sometimes syllables have one part to the word, two parts to the word, three parts to the word, or it can even have four parts to the word. So let me explain what I mean. So for example, every word has a beat. And when we clap it out, we're going to be clapping out that beat, either one, two, three, four, or maybe even more times. So let me give you an example. If I have my friend Forky here, and I say, boys and girls, let's clap out how many syllables Forky has. We might clap it out like this, Forky. That means that Forky has two syllables. That means he has two parts to the word, Forky. Let's see if we can try the next one, cube. If we clap out the word cube, how many parts to the word or how many beats does it have? Cube. That's only one syllable. Cube. That's one part to the word. How about if we try uno, my favorite game, uno. If we clap out a syllable for uno, how many would there be or how many beats would there be? Uno. Two syllables. Two beats, two parts to the word. All right? Let's see if we can do, ooh, this is a tricky one. Cylinder, remember this from math? Let's see if we can clap out cylinder. 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 That's three beats or three parts to the word. My last one I have for you, caterpillar, right? Caterpillar, let's try that one. Caterpillar. 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 Oh my goodness gracious. Four syllables. That's a lot. So I have something that I'm going to share with you today that I think is going to help explain syllables even a little bit more. And it's a really cute video that you guys can watch. So let me go ahead and share my screen so I can get that up for you. And you're going to go ahead and watch this little video and then I'm going to get back on and talk to you just a little bit about it, okay? English language has a many words like this. Oh, so many words. And every word can be split into parts. We call these parts syllables. Syllables. A word could have one or two or three or four or even more syllables. Syllables. Could a word have one million syllables? No, that is too many syllables. What about four syllables? Yes, I already said that. Ha, no more questions. Anyway, a syllable is like a beat. Do you know what a beat is? Drama, please play a beat. Thank you. That is a good beat. You can make a beat by clapping your hands. Now get those hands up. Let's practice one beat. Okay, ready? Here we go. Clap. Ha-ha! Now let's try it with some words. We start with the easy ones. Words with one syllable and therefore one beat. The first word is dog. 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 It's a dog. Ha-ha! Good girl. Now everybody clap your hands to make one beat when I say the word dog. Okay, ready? Here we go. The first part 
is app. And the second part is cool. And everybody, clap your hands and make a beat when I say each part of the word, Apple. Okay, ready? Here we go. All right, you guys, awesome job. So that is a super -dy duper -dy cute um, way to explain syllables to you guys. So basically, when you go on to Seesaw today, that same video was on there. You do not need to watch it again, unless, of course, you loved it and you want to, you can, because it was really cool. Um, and then secondly, you're going to press the hand, the finger, right? And you're going to sort all the pictures. You're going to drag inside them into the correct box. Does the word have one syllable? You're going to drag it up. Does it have two syllables? You're going to drag it up. And does it have three syllables? You're going to drag it up. So I think you guys by now understand the activity. So I'm going to go ahead and, um, sorry, I was going to pull it up really quick, but honestly, I think you guys have it. I think you know to click on the finger and slide the pictures into the correct spaces. So I don't think I need to show you. All right, but have a great day. I hope you enjoyed that video. Super cute way to explain syllables. And it's really good practice for us because you're going to need to know this for first grade. All right, because you'll be doing a lot more of it um, with the first grade teachers. So good thing, good, good, it's good practice for us. Okay, so you guys have fun with that video. Go ahead and get on Seesaw and work on your syllables. Okay. Love you guys. Bye.